All right, this is the uh, cheap Harbor Freight tube bender setup. It's really a pipe bender, but we can use it for a one and five eighths inch DOM tube. Mounted on a Harbor Freight engine stand, so that makes it easier to adjust or turn or do whatever we need to do for space issues. We'll turn it on its end, turn it back over, whatever. The engine stand gets it off the ground, makes it a lot easier to uh, bend up the tube we need. A um, couple of the main things for making this work for anything other than just regular pipe bending. Um, this is what the normal die looks like for one of these. Pretty straightforward. What happens is the tube or pipe winds up getting compressed and actually pushed out of the die and that's where you get a big kink. So as a modification of this, what we do is we actually uh, take one of the dies, this is a one and a quarter inch die which you can use for one and a quarter inch pipe or also fits pretty much exactly one and five eighths inch tube. Um, drill a hole through it right here um, and then we make a collar that slides on over the top of it and basically just have a, a bolt that acts as a pin that goes through and uh, keeps that collar in place with the tube and what this does is it actually allows us to bend a piece of tube with the help of a little sleeve that goes on top here and we can tighten down this bolt on top so that we so that the tube effectively stays locked in place and it won't buckle out the top. Um, so that's the main component that you really need to make this work. So you can just uh, throw your die on the hydraulic on the end of the hydraulic cylinder. Slide your piece of tube in for a little collar on top so that we don't get an indention from our bolt being pressed against. Tighten that down. The other thing you probably want to do so that you don't uh, make any dents on the outer edges of the uh, pipe is to use these pieces for it to slide against. Um, this is a uh, key thing here too that helps. So I got one for each side. I tried to weld these onto these rollers, but they're cast. Uh, so it makes for a pretty crappy weld. And uh, you could find another way to permanently latch them on, but I don't know that it's really necessary. Maybe it is necessary since it's being a pain in the ass for me right now. Usually a little bit easier than that, but I haven't messed with this thing in a couple months. Alright, so tubes in place. Got your collar on and locked down. Got your pipe in there. You can use an angle finder to make sure you get the degree you want. I um, you can turn it on its end upright like this and actually use an angle finder or I built my own homemade protractor out of some eighth inch uh, steel I had laying around and just a normal protractor had a hole through the middle that I just drilled out a little bit bigger and as you can tell I have my little mark on here so I can tell what angle I'm at um, but yeah, the biggest thing you want to do is make sure you have a locking collar on whatever uh, die you're using. Make sure that you're using the appropriate size die. So a one and a quarter inch pipe die works for 
one and a quarter inch pipe, obviously, or uh, matches up perfectly to one and five eighths inch DOM. Some guys will actually grind out uh, the inside of uh, that one and a quarter inch die to make it work for one and three quarter inch tube. Um, I haven't really found the need yet, to be honest. So it's a possibility. Um, I did bend one and a half inch tube and used this. This is just some sheet metal head laying around, and I doubled it up, put it in that die, and uh, put a piece of uh, tube in there and compressed it. Um, and it worked to make a pretty pretty clean bend on some one and a half inch tube I had, um, but it did buckle the in the inner uh, radius of the bend. You can kind of see right there, even on the uh, shim, it buckled. Um, luckily, it wasn't a structural piece, it was only for some fenders, so it's not really that structural, and you can't see the uh, dimple on the outside, so I wasn't too worried about it, but I certainly wouldn't do it for anything structural like a roll cage. Um, anyways, I would bend this piece of pipe to show you it makes clean bends, but I don't want to waste that piece of pipe. Um, I will show you a couple of bends that I did make with it though. Let's see. Um, built this radiator hoop. Um, as you can see, it's pretty, pretty clean. No bad denting in there. Um, I also built this front hoop. As you can see, it's uh, pretty clean as well. Um, built these fenders. Look fine from the outside, but as you can maybe see, I guess you really can't see, it is dimpled on the inside. Um, but anyway, anyways, you know, with a pretty cheap Harbor Freight setup and a couple of little mods to it, um, you know, you can do some pretty good uh, shade tree mechanicking with it and fabricating. Um, so again, the locking collar on the die, and it's nice to have these little slides uh, for the tube to slide on so it doesn't get dimpled against this roller. Uh, and this is the screw. We screw in and out just enough to keep that tube or pipe in place so that it can't compress out of the die. And you should get a nice clean bend. And this is my cheap, effective fabrication of a mount. I just welded on to the bottom of my uh, pipe bender so that I could mount it to my engine stand. Anyway, hope it works for you.